I'm Milo and Ryder, it's Grandma, and I've got a silly, funny story for you tonight about a vampire who has to go to the dentist. He has a sore tooth, but he doesn't want to go to the dentist, but he has to, to get his tooth fixed. So here's this funny and silly story. It's called Vampire Dentist. Vampire Dentist. Ha ha. Here's a vampire. His name is Louie. His name is Louie. See his fangs? One, two fangs. He's got fangs. So let's read about the vampire dentist. She's really nice. She's not going to hurt him. This is the vampire dentist. She's not going to hurt him. She's going to help him with his tooth that hurts. Here's, let's go. Louis the vampire paced the halls of his castle. My mouth is killing me, he screamed. It hurts more than a scraped knee. Ow, that would really hurt because a scraped knee hurts. Let me see, his butler said. Louis opened his mouth. Actually, Grandma already put some stars on Louis's fangs. So I'm going to get rid of those stars so you can see his fangs. Ha, ha, ha. There's his fangs. One, two. He has two big fangs in the front, and then he's got teeth in the back, too. Vampires have a lot of teeth. So Louis opened his mouth, and what happened, I wonder? <gasps> Master! I insist that you see the dentist. Not the dentist, Louis shrieked. She terrifies me with all those horrible tools and that strange chair that goes up and down. I'm not going. That's silly. Louis should go to the dentist because she can help him with his tooth. You need to get your teeth checked or you'll have to skip Halloween, said the butler. Fine, Louis groaned, but I'm only doing this for the candy. Louis's only going to the dentist because he wants to have Halloween candy. Louis trudged into the dentist's office. I'm scared, he said. Hi, Louis, the dentist said calmly. There's nothing to worry about. She's nice. She's a nice dentist. He shouldn't be worried. It will be okay. She'll take care of him. Louis crept to the dentist's chair. What's going on? He asked. I'm leaning the chair back to get a look at those teeth. So she's just leaning the chair back to get a look at Louis's teeth. Whoops. I lost my share there for a second. Hold on. To get a look at his teeth. She turned on a light and pointed it at Louis's mouth. It's too bright, Louis yelled. The dentist gave him a pair of dark flip-up sunglasses and inspected his teeth. So she put sunglasses on him so the light wasn't too bright. And she's looking at his teeth. Hmm, she said, there is some trouble with your upper left cuspid. What's an upper left cuspid? Louis asked, trembling. It's a scientific name for one of your fangs. I'm going to give you a special new tooth. Louis cried into his cape, not my fang. He's nervous, isn't he? But she's nice and she won't hurt him. It's okay, the dentist said. She gave him some medicine, which made him sleepy. So he was relaxed and sleepy. Then his chair, this chair is really great, he said. Then he fell asleep. Louis fell asleep in the dentist's chair. He's not afraid anymore. He's sleeping. He's okay. When are you going to take out my tooth? Louis asked when he woke up. It's already done, 
the dentist said. What? It's already done, the dentist said. Louis felt the tip of his new tooth with his tongue. The dentist held up a new a mirror so he could see his new gold fang. I love it, Louis said, shaking the dentist's hand. And she gave him a sticker and his own roll of dental floss. She gave him a sticker, like a happy sticker. Here, let's put a sticker on Louie, because he did a good job. So then, on Halloween, Louie dressed up as a dentist. He went from door to door in his white dentist jacket. He got all kinds of lollipops, chocolate bars, gumdrops, and other candy. Louis bit into each piece of candy and sucked out the center. Delicious, he said. So Louis went to the dentist so he could go and have some Halloween candy. Oops. That night, Louis was about to fall asleep when he jolted upright. I almost forgot. From this secret pouch, Louis pulled out a roll of dental floss that his dentist had given him. He closed the lid of his coffin and started to floss. He's using dental floss. Your mom and dad use dental floss, right, or Milo? And maybe you'll use dental floss too pretty soon. So that's a silly story about Louis the vampire who had to go to the dentist. I like that story. I like that story so much. I'm going to put some stars on Louie's head. That's a good story. And you can rewind the story and listen to it again. I like reading to you and I hope you like these stories and grandma loves you. And I hope I see you pretty soon when it gets warmer and warmer and this this coronavirus flu is gone, then we can play again together. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.